Hi guys, Chris here again, and this time we're exploring the best things to see and do in and around Cairns in tropical North Queensland. This is a major international gateway, one of the best spots to explore the Great Barrier Reef and where the reef meets the rainforest. So whether you're here for a few days or a week, I've got the best list for you of the things to do in Cairns and start planning your holidays. First up, we have swimming at the Crystal Cascades. With a tropical climate and heavy rainfall in the summer, there are so many different waterfalls and water holes in and around Cairns. Therefore, we have plenty of options for swimming and especially to help you cool down on those hot summer days. The Crystal Cascades would have to be one of the closest and easiest to get to from Cairns and should not be missed. It's located at the end of Red Lynch Road, about 25 minutes from Cairns Central. Conveniently, there is a nice sized car park, bathroom facilities and barbecue tables to help you throughout the day. So there are certain sections that are better for swimming than others and this is one of them. Obviously, it's got uh, a fairly small waterfall up there, but uh, a nice big area here. I'm sure in the summertime there gets heaps of people here. The cascading swimming waters flow past a sealed bitumen pathway with several entrances into the rock pools. About halfway at the path, the swimming area is actually closed, but you can enjoy the scenes and the view from a larger waterfall at the end. While you're at Crystal Cascades, you might like to try and find the Fairy Falls, which it has a hidden entrance coming off the same car park. Just look out for the emergency assembly point and start heading into the forest. This was only a short walk, about 10 to 15 minutes, but I'll tell you right now that it wasn't the easiest to get to. You had to rock hop over boulders, walk slippery paths and steep cliffs. This would be a great isolated swimming spot with uh, not a lot of people around, but it's not on the cards for us today as we only stayed for a few photos. The Cairns Marina or the Reef Fleet Terminal has numerous companies that explore the Great Barrier Reef on day trips. You can choose between places like Green Island, Fitzroy Island or visiting the Great Barrier Reef pontoons in the outer reef with deeper waters. Either way, you'll experience underwater life firsthand and has to be one of the most loved family friendly things to do in Cairns. The boat ride out to the reef will take anything from one and a half to two and a half hours to get to your destination and last for either a half or a full day. All of them will include your snorkel, mask and fins to help you explore the amazing reef ecosystem and help you find many different fish species. You can drive to the small village of Coranda, but the Coranda Scenic Railway is a better way to get there and makes the trip more about the journey itself. The train ride will take about two hours from Cairns to Coranda and you're entertained almost the whole way there. It's an old school train with open windows and wooden bench seats, which have been refurbished for today's tourists. The whole ride will include a running commentary detailing the ins and outs of the train, the rainforest you're driving through, the tunnels and the tracks along with a 15 minute stopover to the amazing Barron Falls, which is one of the biggest waterfalls in Queensland. In addition, you could upgrade your ticket to Gold Class and enjoy some light snacks, refreshments and table service. The Coranda Village itself is small and a great stop for morning tea, lunch or pick up a locally made products. Apart from that, you have four other nature experiences that can be purchased separately. This includes Bird World, the Butterfly Sanctuary, the Barren River Crocodile Cruise, and the Koala Gardens Nature Park. In every one of these parks, you can experience local Australian wildlife as well as other unique creatures from around the world. Purchasing tickets to these parks are around $20 to $25 each, but discounts apply when you purchase online beforehand for two or more experiences. As for timing, we found out just going to two of the parks was enough for us before heading back to Cairns. 
The SkyRail Rainforest Cableway will be your next option to visit from the small town of Karanda. While you can get there and return on both the railway and the SkyRail Rainforest Cableway, I do recommend to do the one-way journey on each for an extra exciting day. This means come up on the scenic railway, enjoy the Karanda village and then return on SkyRail Gondola. The cableway itself takes about one and a half hours one way, which does have an option to stop at Red Peak Station for the Rainforest Boardwalk or Barren Falls for a different side of the waterfall. Apart from that, the gondola will give you an overall ride viewing of the Wet Tropics Rainforest, which is a UNESCO World Heritage listed zone. It fits up to six people at a time, but for an extra charge, you can option for a glass bottom gondola. This is called the Diamond Class. Either way, the journey surrounds you with epic sounds of the rainforest, wildlife, and one of the best things you can do in Cairns. Barron Falls is about 125 metres high and one of the largest waterfalls in Queensland. However, this waterfall is just for viewing and not for swimming. It is an amazing sight when it's in full flood, which is around December to March each year or after plenty of rain. It takes about 40 minutes to drive there from Cairns and has a decent sized platform and lookout points to see it. In full flood, the sheer power of the flowing water is unbelievable and you won't regret the visit. For the rest of the year, the water flow will reduce to a mere trickle, but it still is a popular stop for tourists. The Cairns Esplanade is roughly two and a half kilometres long and will pass by parklands, toilets, barbecues, picnic tables, playgrounds for the kids and a swimming pool lagoon. While locals use this for daily exercise, tourists will use it for a relaxing sunset walk, to look out for the local wildlife in the mangroves or for a scenic pathway to their next stop. The actual boardwalk portion is suspended above the city's mud flaps and is an interesting view at low tide. So watch out for the crabs and photograph the pelicans or other bird life. Keep in mind there's no swimming anywhere in these waters as there could be crocodiles basking in the sun. The Esplanade area is also when you can purchase a ticket to ride the iconic Reef Eye Ferris wheel, which gives you an overall view of the area. There is 360 degree views, 35 metres high off the ground and costs about $10 per adult ticket. It's an enclosed gondola which holds up to six people and runs from 10 to 10, seven days a week. Prefer a pool to the ocean, then the Esplanade Lagoon might be just what you're looking for. This is a favourite spot for the kids and perfect for some family friendly fun. It's open from 6am every morning until 9pm at night, which gives you plenty of time to fit into your holiday plans. Entry is free and you can enjoy this 4,800 square metre saltwater pool, which is conveniently lifeguarded during the day. You also have toilets, showers, lockers and barbecues to support the friends gathering, family catch up or a small birthday party. Get your excitement into gear and challenge yourself with the world's first zip line and rope course contained within a wildlife park. Great one for the kids in an all weather activity. It contains crossings, tunnels, climbing walls, cargo nets and zip lines. And for added excitement, you're completing this course over Goliath, which is a four metre saltwater crocodile. If you're looking for some market shopping, then make sure you add Rusty's Markets to your list. It's open every Friday, Saturday and Sunday from 5 a.m. and goes into the night. It features 180 stores of locally sourced and made products, including fruits, vegetables, fashion, jewelry, bread, coffee, chocolate, flowers, and so much more. It has been running for over 45 years and is well known around Australia for its variety, and they're adding new stalls all the time. Cairns is a great home base for seeing various national parks contained within the wet tropics of Queensland. But one great thing about this area is it has lots of streams, lakes and rivers full of saltwater crocodiles. Luckily, there are plenty of safe and convenient tours to be able to see these deadly reptiles in their own habitat. One of these boat cruisers leaves from Coranda and gives you a look along the Barren River. But I found these guys were very small and mostly freshwater crocodiles. 
Alternatively, you can day trip into the Daintree rainforest and take one of the tours there. But I do recommend doing it on a sunny day when the crocs are most likely to be basking in the sun. Either way, you'll learn about these ferocious creatures, where they like to hide and how to avoid them on your travels. Take a one and a half hour drive south of Cairns and you can experience one of the most photographed waterfalls in Australia. This is called Miller Miller Falls, which is part of the waterfall circuit in the Atherton Tablelands. Along with Miller Miller, you can see two other waterfalls, which is Alinja Falls and Zilli Falls. This entire circuit to see the three waterfalls is only 20 kilometers long and well worth a visit for a cool, refreshing swim. All of these falls are flowing all year round, but have less water coming down in the winter from June till October. Make a day of it with a picnic lunch and a scenic drive through the local bushland. Babinda boulders are located about one hour south of Cairns and a short veer off the main A1 highway. This place is pretty big and very popular with tourists and locals. There's a large car park, barbecue and bathroom facilities, which helps make the most of your day with family or friends. A short walk away, you could get to the Devil's Pools, which isn't actually for swimming, but it is an amazing sight to see with the large boulders and cascading waters flowing through. Don't have time to make it to Karanda or the Daintree National Park, then you might like to visit the Cairns Botanic Gardens. It's renowned for being one of the best tropical plant displays in Australia. A massive 38 hectares and where you can learn so much about the surrounding area. It's open from 7.30 till 5.30 every day and you can choose to wander around on your own, take a free tour, host an event or check out the visitor centre and cafe. You can see gardens like the Bamboo Collection, a rainforest boardwalk, Aboriginal plant use, Saltwater Lake and the Friendship Gardens and much more. The Cairns Aquarium is a brilliant option to keep the kids entertained and open every day and accessible in any kind of weather. It's your way of getting up close and personal with the underwater species and ecosystem contained within tropical North Queensland. From the rainforest river systems, mangroves and the Great Barrier Reef, you can dive into the presentation talks, a touch pool and watch the shark feedings. Even better, you can enjoy unique experiences like scuba diving and twilight visits after dark. Expect to see something that you didn't know existed. Soar above the sky like a bird and cross off that bucket list things to do in Cairns by purchasing a Great Barrier Reef scenic helicopter flight. Choose an experience between the rainforest, Great Barrier Reef, sandy caves or islands off the coast. You can even choose between a 30 minute, 45 minute or 60 minute flights along with merging a boat trip and flight option to get a bit of everything. These can all be booked online over the phone or from the Reef Fleet Terminal at the Cairns Marina. Stony Creek is another free swimming spot you can check out. It's only a short 20 minute drive from the town centre and doesn't require a big walk to get there. I will mention though that the mosquitoes were pretty bad, so make sure you have your repellent on. Otherwise, jump in the cool, refreshing waters quickly and you'll be fine. If you have your own car or can hire one for the day, then you might want to take a drive further north for a few different sections. The Great Barrier Reef Drive runs between Cairns and Cape Tribulation. This is proof that the rainforest is meeting the reef and the only place in Australia where you witness the coastline hugging two different world heritage areas. It's a beautiful coastline drive for you to enjoy, so check out some of the other beaches, go for lunch and see some of the other smaller towns. One of these towns includes Palm Cove, which is listed as one of the best beaches in Queensland. 
The palm trees line the water's edge where you could go for a nice relaxing stroll along the water or you can enjoy a choice between the several cafes, restaurants or coffee shops along the Esplanade. The Thala Beach Nature Reserve was not something that I thought I would encounter, but so glad that we made the quick stop off here. Thousands of coconut palm trees growing on this land, all lined up perfectly, making for the best tropical holiday picture. The palm trees actually lead their way into an eco-lodge accommodation, but you'll find many people just stopping off for a look and taking photos. Want the best photo opportunities or viewpoint along the coastline? Then Rex Lookout might be what you're looking for. It's 40 minutes north of Cairns and easy enough to pull over to the side of the road. If you're lucky, you might even see some hand gliders. But wait, there's more. You can check out our Green Island day trip or our Coranda visit by clicking here for our prior videos. These will go into a little more detail for you. Apart from that, thanks so much for watching the video today, guys, and things to do in Cairns, and I will see you for the next one.